What is going on YouTube? Hey, back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to continue to look at the stagnation and correction within most of the major cryptocurrencies, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and we will also be looking at the same thing which is taking place within the S&P 500. For the past couple of days, most of these major cryptocurrencies have been doing nothing but falling stagnant within their sideways channels, including the S&P 500. And as you guys can see, we're not really seeing much more development. We did find a bottom on most of these cryptos and the S&P, which figures cross is the bottom. I mean, I, I'm hoping and praying that this is the soft landing we're looking for and we don't pull much lower because truly, and this is where I, you know, where I'm sitting right now, I do believe this could be the lowest point the market moves to as we're finishing off 2022 here. Um, there is obviously a huge possibility we could move down to here, but I would consider this to be the rock bottom lowest only because that would send the S&P 500 down to about, sorry, that's not it, about 30%, 35%. It's actually up to here. So you can see it's 33%, which would send us down to this bottom support. And hopefully that's it. I really hope we don't go any lower than that. Ideally, the soft landing that we're looking for would be right around this level here, hopefully. And we could start to reverse out of it. But until then, we're pretty much everything's up in the air. As of right now, the daily markets right now, the RSI is looking pretty low. Plenty of room to move up higher. And we're also nearing oversold here. We were pretty much darn near oversold a couple of days ago when we had bounced off bottom support, retested it you can see why this support is so uh you know useful and and such a strong uh you know price floor because this is where we originally broke through the original point of breakout here back in november of 2020 here when we broke through that it was game on for all of 2021 or the rest of you know march april may june july august September, october november december january of 2021 here that was it this was the major movement that we were expecting and looking for here it's what pretty much took the rest of 2021 into this parabolic pump that we're starting to see here. But now we're coming back down to retest that same level here, back inside a more neutral level here, plenty of room to move up higher, which is good. But we're hoping to hold that support and pretty much trend sideways, if not maybe see a small recovery here, because that's what's holding on for dear life, as well as it is holding on these other cryptos for dear life, holding on to these major supports that you can see. That's pretty much what we're going to be talking about today. Where we're heading, are we going to be breaking through? When and where do we buy in for a short? When and where do we buy in for a long? Pretty much what we're dealing with here. Patterns developing on Ethereum, same thing with Bitcoin and same thing with XRP. Lots to discuss, lots to talk about here. Um, but before we dive into the technical analysis, today's video is is brought to you by XDAO, a uh, sponsor for today's video here. XDAO is doing a few different things. They're offering a token sale, which is happening on um, uh, the 20th of October. So I believe two days from today here. They're also giving away free NFTs, which is super cool. More information about XDAO will be in the description of today's video, as well as at the end of today's video, if you'd like to stay tuned to hear more about them. But it's super cool. Their token sale, obviously, if you guys don't know what DAOs are, they're uh, decentralized autonomous organizations, which allows you to create your own DAO and uh, pretty much host different projects, which is super cool. Like I said, more information about them will be at the end of today's video. But with that being said, make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, first and foremost, quick refresh. You can see here, again, consolidation only up 0.16%, not seeing much movement at all. Over the past 24 hours, everything is flatlined out as usual, which makes all the sense in the world because that's how we've been trading over the past couple of days here. However, we are getting very, 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 very close to retesting levels and supports that really are going to make or break the cryptocurrency. If we break through these supports, it's game over. Over. If we stay above them, there's chance to potentially relieve some stress and, he and head up to the upside here. And that's pretty much what we're dealing with and looking at. Same thing applies with XRP. As you guys remember, many, many, many moons ago, we were right over here. It wasn't that long ago, maybe a week ago, uh, where we were retesting this top resistance. We broke resistance, corrected downwards here, mainly the resistance being the overbought level here. And we said, hey, we need to come back down. We finally got enough steam to blast us through our major downtrend here. That's enough victory for one day. 
good chance we're going to come down, use it now as a support instead of a resistance here, which would ha had us lower here. We're using it as a support to hold us above, and hopefully we can eventually use it to lift us off and lower ourselves in the RSI, which it did. We went from overbought to 50 on the RSI, and hopefully now it can lift us up here and we can head up higher, pretty much waiting uh, to realign itself with the other cryptos. 50 on the RSI is no longer overbought. So you can see here, we're finally back to the same levels that Ethereum and these other cryptos are back to 50 on the RSI for Ethereum too. So we've managed to inter you know interline ourselves or interlock ourselves with these other cryptos. You can see Ethereum is battling its major resistance here. And as I said to you guys, there's a good chance we're going to come back up to retest this. And here, ex here we go. Exactly what I said. So we had this. We had the symmetrical triangle forming here. This little pump that happened right there. And here we are again. We said this is another opportunity to buy in with the off chance that we head back up to resistance at 1335. After seeing this major reversal, uh, we did take profits. And now we had a second little pump to the upside here. But again, we are filling in this gap. We are getting very close. And it seems like we're pretty much going to come to the end right at about when we retest this downtrend here. Obviously, we could break or dump much sooner than that. But this is pretty much key for finding when this next uh, breakout is. It's going to pretty much make or break the markets for Ethereum. You can clearly beautifully see the symmetrical triangle, the higher lows and lower highs filling in the gap here. Here we are getting very close to making a decision. Biggest thing for Ethereum and Bitcoin too is that this symmetrical triangle, this downwards triangle, which usually has a bullish tendency, a bullish bias here, up to probably $1,600 here, which would be incredible. We have this major downtrend and a major price floor. This is what's the most important. So we need to see the daily break us through this and close. We close at 1358 outside this downtrend here. We're looking gorgeous for a run to this, you know, to this upside here. Vice versa, we break through our price floor, close the daily below there. We're looking for a dump down to $1,000. So it's hit or miss, but a big volume is coming here. We just need to continue playing out this beautiful symmetrical triangle. And then lastly, Bitcoin here is looking interesting too. And now that it's 9.33 a.m., time of recording this, uh, S&P should be open. So we'll look at that in a second here. Currently up 2.27%. I really just want to look cool. Yes, this is awesome. Really good. Uh, but you can see here, Bitcoin is also Bouncing off vital support levels here. We've managed now to trade outside this downtrend, which is finally happening. It looks so nice that we're finally doing this here. But the problem is we've been using the support. The goal is that we can hold on to the support here and not break through it. Hopefully swing us back to the upside. That's what we're looking for. That's key. That's vital for these markets. And hopefully that's what happens here. And it's really just a matter of time before we can get some sort of decision. But the goal is we do not break 19K. This is vital. This area right here is vital. Hopefully we can run up from that and we'll see where that goes here. Uh, lastly, that I mean, that's pretty much it. If we see the S&P start to rally up, that should hopefully influence XRP to see a run. It should influence Ethereum to see a run. It should see a Bitcoin see a run. That's what we're looking for. And so far, we look pretty good. Obviously, we don't know where these markets are going to be taking us to in the next couple of days or by the end of today. We don't know. But the goal was that we're looking for a double bottom here on the S&P. One, two, neckline. Hopefully, we break through that. It should send us up. That's the goal here. That's what we're looking for. And right now, this big little run to the upside here looks beautiful. And that should hopefully carry the S&P up much higher. That's the goal. Fingers crossed. Let's see if it happens here. But I am very excited to see how these markets play out. With that all being said, guys, I do have more information about XDAO that I would like to share with you. I want to give a huge shout out to XDAO for sponsoring today's episode. As to the cryptocurrency projects, please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose. So guys, XDAO is a multi-chain DAO ecosystem that makes it easy to create your own decentralized centralized autonomous organization for the joint management of crypto assets. Now, the platform is powered by BSC, ensuring low transaction costs, high reliability, and sufficient speeds. But in recent events, XDAO has decided to launch a quest where you can actually win an NFT from Pokerus Lampus. But more importantly, on October 20th, which is only a few hours away, the listing of the XDAO token will take place at only a price of 0.06 cents. Now, in regards to their new XDAO governance, token, the holders will have quite a lot of power in regards to the project because it is the governance token. You'll actually be able to manage the organization's finances, store various coins and tokens, determine the procedure for onboarding new members, and quite a lot more. And obviously, new tokens that come to market usually tend to see a substantial run in price, but keep that in mind as all new cryptocurrencies are very, very, very volatile. Now, as for the free NFT, all you need to do is have a BSC crypto wallet 
with at least 0 0.06 BNB. Then just read their comics created by AI, follow the storyline, and save the city. Then, last but not least, solve the tests and complete the tasks to gain points. You will actually be creating your own DAO without coding. Now, when you do these steps, you'll be acquiring unique knowledge and the opportunity to win a valuable prize, and the more points, the rarer the NFT will be. Now, the quest has already begun, and the last chance to join is until November, only a few days away. Now, to tell you a little bit more about XDAO, they were launched in 2021 and were the first DAO builder on the Binance Smart Chain. And since then, more than 12,000 DAOs have already been created on XDAO. And at their core, they are a fundamental project, and this is an opportunity to earn on the market of real companies as the bear market is still ongoing. Now, by utilizing the BSC blockchain, XDAO offers several major advantages to potential DAO creators, such as avoiding affordability and performance issues, demonstrating the community support for such a service. XDAO has even won a Binance Smart Chain hackathon in April for the development of the project. And in May of last year, XDAO passed a security audit by Pessimistic. Now, XDAO creates real value for the ecosystem unlike a pyramid. XDAO isn't GameFi, but is actually a market made of real and powerful companies. Remember, DAOs can invest not only in crypto, but in real world assets such as real estate, startups, and even gold mines. Sounds crazy, but XDAO actually has companies that have invested in just that. You see, XDAO allows users to combine crypto assets from multiple partners and manage them in more efficient and secure ways by using auto-generated smart contracts. A clear voting system also allows users to make collective decisions and be confident in their exact execution. You see, XDAO offers a perfect solution to anyone who wants to easily pull resources to manage crypto assets as a DAO. Now, the need for the service is virtually endless and includes potential users such as venture capital funds, public funds, and foundations, new tech startups, and even freelance groups. Now, with that all being said, guys, make sure to take part in XDAO's NFT giveaway as participation ends on November 3rd. And remember to get involved in their new token launch, which is happening on October 20th. Yes, just a few hours away. Otherwise, shout out to XDAO for sponsoring today's episode. As always, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.